<laughs> hey guys, I want to say happy resurrection. Um, did I say resurrection? Let's try that again. Happy Easter, guys. Today, on this day, I post on the same day. It is Resurrection Sunday. And I just want to say, you know, happy Easter, happy Resurrection Sunday. You know, this day, you know, years ago, third day, 2,000 years ago, greatest man, who is Jesus Christ, died on the cross in our place and died for our sins. <clears throat> now, he not only was he beaten so hard, beaten terribly, beaten so much, spit upon, got his beard plug, had a crown of thorns on the head. It was beaten so much to the point he was unrecognizable. You couldn't even tell who he was. He did that all for you. Now, here's the good part. You know, once he went to the cross, got nailed, got nailed, nailed on his hands, nailed on his like, put his feet together and put nails and everything. He's on the cross, literally naked, they poor. They, when he act, when he says he's thirsty, they, um, the guards or not the guards, the, you know who I'm talking about. They put the, a sponge of vinegar and wine and it was very dirty because sometimes they had pee or something like that. And that's what he drank. All of that just for us. And then on the third day, on the third day, he rose. He rose from the grave. He is not dead. He is surely alive. Go to Israel. You're not going to see him in there. Because he is alive. He has risen. And he's coming back again for us. He, he did this. He did this all for us to have a chance, to have a second chance. Because we fell when Adam and Eve said. But Jesus said, you know, no, no, no. I came to fix it so that you may have a way. Because he is the one shooting the life. So you may have a way to heaven. And I want to read something. We're going to go to Matthew chapter 28. It says... Now, after the Sabbath, as the first day of the week began to dawn, Mary Magdalene, Magdalene and the other Mary came to see the tomb. And, be and behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat on it. His countenance was like lightning and his clothing as white as snow. And the guards shook for fear of him and, bec and became like dead men. But the angel answered and said to the woman, Do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen, as he said. Come see the place where the Lord lay. And go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead, and indeed he is going before you into Galilee. Therefore you will see him. Behold, I have told you. So they went out quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy and ran to bring his disciples word. He's, because he is risen, we could go. Because he has risen, we can go and tell people about Jesus, so they may accept them, and they can have eternal life. So, because I says in John 16, for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have everlasting life. He made a way for us, because we were going off the wrong path. We were on our way to hell, but if you choose Christ, you're on the way ahead to heaven. But it's your decision. He gives you free will to either say yes or to either say no. Because he's not going to make robots where you're forced to love him, where you're forced to serve him. So it's all about love. Because Christianity is a relationship, not religion. Let me tell you. And I tell you, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. He is everything. He is the one and true God. This might hurt some people. And that's okay. Because you need to learn. Muhammad is dead. Allah is dead. Buddha is dead. All them other false gods are dead. If it's a statue, if it's a craved the image they're not real he can't hear you they can't hear you or talk to you but Jesus is alive and you can talk to him you can spend time with him he has changed my life if you know me for a minute you know you you know that he's changed my life he's resurrected my life let's go to John 11 25 and 26 he said Jesus said to her I am the resurrection and the life he who believes in me though he may die, he shall live, and whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? Mm. That's what she said. She said to him in verse 27, Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, who is to come into the world. He, he is the one that resurrects us. No matter what we went through, no matter what we've been through, no matter what we've seen, whenever, no matter what we've said, he can change us and resurrect our life and change us for the better. I'm here to tell you, he is risen. If you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I want you to repeat that to me. But before you repeat, I'm going to tell you this. It says, for all of us in the fellowship of the glory of God, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. 
and do ever call on the name of the Lord, they shall be saved. So I want you to read after me. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me of my sin. Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross and rose on the, on the third day. Thank you for what you've done for me. I received the free gift of salvation. I accept you as my Lord and Savior and rule over my life. In Jesus' name, amen. So happy Resurrection Sunday. Have a good week, a good month. You know, tomorrow's about to be April. We're literally about to be in the fourth month. So that's going to be good. And I'll see you guys later. Thank you.